Hi, this is Russ Jeffords from RebelBurn.com. I'm here live at the Samsung Galaxy S3 event for the release of the new device. Uh, you can see I've got one in white here in my hands. Uh, it's a fairly sleek device. I'm um, supposed to uh, be sort of quite a natural design, so they sort of base the, the sort of the layer on a pebble. You can see it's quite rounded on the back. Um, also takes various styling cues from leaves and other bits of nature, apparently, like the water and that. Um, it's got a large 4.8 inch HD Super AMOLED display up front. You can see it's absolutely enormous. Um, quite a nice high resolution as well, being HD. Um, it's also got a 1.4 GHz quad core processor down inside, so you can see it's fairly instant, everything's quick. There's a gig of RAM as well, just to keep everything shooting along really fast. Uh, it's running Ice Cream Sandwich, as you'd expect, so the latest version of Android as well. Uh, there's an 8 megapixel autofocus camera around the back with an LED flash and then a little speaker grill there. A uh, 3.5mm headphone jack up top as well. Um, it's got a 1.9 megapixel camera on the front there as well uh, for video calls and then a couple of sensors, ambient light sensor on that up front too. Um, also got uh, a 2100 milliamp hour battery inside as well, so it's a pretty big battery for a device like this. Um, and also a micro SD card slot. Um, so you can sort of upgrade the memory by 64 gig is sort of the maximum card you can put in uh, and it comes in three different variations you can get a version with 16 gigabytes built in 32 gigabytes and 64 gigabytes so you can have up to 128 gigabytes of memory built in you know if you upgraded with a micro SD card with this device uh, you can see on the left side here we've got a volume rocker on the right we've got the power button up there and on the bottom we've got a micro USB port for charging and data. Uh, at the top, as I say, it's just a three and a half mil headphone port and the uh, sort of little finger groove to remove the rear cover. Um, some key features of this device are Samsung's new S Voice and S Beam features. Now, the S Voice is very much like uh, the iPhone's Siri application, which basically sort of allows you to ask the phone things with your voice. Uh, and the S Beam is a new NFC application that allows you to sort of send content between devices just by sort of touching them together, assuming both devices have NFC built in. Um, you've also got things like Samsung's All Care Sha All Share Cast and All Share Play, sorry, uh, which allows you to share things with your friends. So uh, it's quite a well-stocked device. Uh, it's running uh, Bluetooth. Well, sorry, it's got Bluetooth 4 and also Wi-Fi as well. Running Samsung's TouchWiz for uh, user interface as well. Um, so I'd say it's pretty well stocked. Um, I'm just going to show you quickly now the S Voice application. Uh, you supposedly can just activate it by just speaking to the phone, saying "Hi Galaxy," but. Uh, there's very few people seem to be here that are actually able to get that work, so let's give it a go. Hi Galaxy! So you don't really seem to get any response. Uh, but if we just pop into the options and find the S-Video app there, you should be able to actually... Um, weather in London. So you're not getting it right now. Hi Galaxy! I got it that time. Weather in London. <laughs> there we go, we got it that time. And it brings up the weather for you. So, very much like Siri, but it's very, uh, very much struggling to actually recognise people's voices in this loud environment, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Um, bottom here, you can see as well, we've got the uh, sort of actual hardware home button and then uh, two sort of soft keys either side. Very, very difficult to see the soft keys on the uh, white models. You can see the illumination's white as well so it makes it very difficult to actually see the keys. Uh, the button on the right here is a back button, and the one on the left is a menu button, uh, so you don't get this sort of multitasking button that some of the recent ice cream sandwich handsets have come out with. Um, but to be honest, I quite prefer having the menu button at the bottom, um, it's a lot easier than the, uh, the placement of the menu button on my uh, HTC, which if I just get out now, I can show you the difference in size between the uh, HTC One X and the uh, Samsung Galaxy S3. So they're fairly similar in terms of size. Even the screens are fairly similar. I mean, it's only 0.1 of an inch difference uh, in, the, in the favor of the Galaxy for the larger. Um, in terms of thickness as well, it's hard to show you with uh, one hand, but they're roughly the same thickness. Uh, maybe the Galaxy is very slightly thicker because obviously it's got the, um, uh, the, the room for the uh, micro SD card and uh, a bigger battery in that. Another great feature of the Samsung Galaxy S3 is its ability to uh, multitask very well with video. So if I just open up a video quickly here, uh, let's just pick one like this one for example. So we start playing that. 
You can see the quality of the uh, HD screen here is very good. So let's say we wanted to go and do something else, like write a message now. We can just tap on the screen, use this button in the bottom corner here, and it just puts the video just on the home screen for you, so you can just move it around wherever you like. Uh, you can move across, open up a message. There you go, you can read a message and the video is still there. So you can even tap out a whole new message and reply whilst watching our video. So that's pretty neat and then once we're done we can just tap back on the video and it will come back up again full screen. So that's fairly impressive for a mobile phone to be able to do that level of multitasking. Another one of the Samsung Galaxy S3's key features is its camera. So if we just open it up here you can see uh, not the best environment to take a photo in, but we can open it up pretty quickly and take some pretty quick snaps. Um, we've got a few different settings here as well. Self-portrait, flash, got shooting mode, so if I change that, we've got HDR, burst shot, small shot, various types of things. If we just put it in burst shot so I can show you. You can see it takes quite a few photos quite quickly, um, and you can even turn on this function. Oh, this function at the top here, best photo. So if I turn that on, it'll now pick the best photo for us. What it perceives is the best photo. So it reckons that one's the best photo, but it's given us a different set of options so we can choose which one of the ones it took that we think is actually the best. So it takes eight different photos and we can say, okay, that's the one we think is the best. Done. Now, it's becoming quite apparent for the fact that I'm trying to use the phone one-handed um, that it's quite difficult to actually maneuver around the phone with one hand. I mean, I am doing it left-handed because I'm holding the camera with my right hand, um, so that's probably one disadvantage, but still it's a very large screen. I mean, trying to hold the phone normally and then get to the top is quite a task. <laughs> Same with the bottom. The bottom right is a very difficult place to get to and that's where the app drawer comes out of the main app drawer. Um, so it's a bit clumsy to handle but probably no more so than the uh, HTC One X uh, with its large screen as well. For those of you interested in the blue colour, uh, this is it. It's got sort of what Samsung are calling a hypergloss finish to it. Uh, you can see it still sort of uh, picks up fingerprints quite well. And it's got sort of like a metallic finish on the back, but the actual covering is glossy, which must be their hypergloss finish. Um, probably quite a good thing to have this hypergloss finish on, especially if you're going to be using it for NFC and tapping devices together. Should uh, hopefully stop it from scratching so easily. Hi, right, so this is Samsung's All Share Cast uh, functionality. So we've got phone up, and then uh, on the display here you can see whatever's on the display of the phone comes up on the display of the TV. And that's all through the, uh, the old Sharecast dongle here, which you can get uh, as an additional extra for the phone. Um, you can also do things like play video and stuff. Uh, so we just find a video in the video player here. So if we start playing that, you can see it's playing on the TV. But the other thing as well is if we come back out of it, uh, using the, the ability to sort of multitask and place the video anywhere on the screen, you can see we can go and maybe write a message or something whilst the video is playing on the screen behind. So it's pretty nice functionality, you get multitasking as well. Um, the ability to do multiple things at once, as you can see it's still playing on the phone at the same time as on the TV. Anyway, that was a quick look at the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, keep a check out on our website for the full review. Um, I'm Russ Jeffers from mobilebone.com.